Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Steve's World of Wonders, where I'll be opening <laughs> some of the mail that I've saved up for over the years. Uh, I think maybe since 2018, I've been collecting stuff that I've ordered for myself to like cheer myself up and stuff. Uh, and I never <laughs> ended up opening any of it because I thought, well, maybe I'll, I'll let it collect up and then I'll open it up in a video or something and it'll be like Christmas. So that's what I did. And I'm on to the next package here and the next installment of this exciting adventure through my mailbox. Um, how do I get into this one? I'll have to cut here. I don't know what's in this one. I don't remember what I ordered. What's in what box? I know I remember some of what I ordered, but so far it's been mostly surprises. <laughs> like, if you want to check out my other mail videos, if you haven't already, there's a playlist you can find under Steve's World of Wonders. You hit my little icon somewhere. Oh boy. It'll probably show up at the end of this video. There'll probably be a thing you can click. And get end credits. Again, all these things I ordered were not expensive. I looked for the best deal possible on eBay sometimes and on Amazon sometimes. Just little things I could afford that I thought, oh, I don't want this one. It's in bubble wrap. So, it, yeah. Oh, this is exciting. I gotta be careful here. Yeah. This one's fragile, I could say. This is, this is cool. This is uh, in addition to a collection. I, I'm a collecting bug. I have an addiction. Uh, it's not that bad of an addiction. I have a small collection of this stuff. This is exciting. I don't remember what these look like. Oh, it's this style. Oh, I, I I forgot that I bought this kind. Oh, oh cool. It's a uh, tiki mug. I bought several tiki mugs. They've got little green, green eyes. Yeah, this is cool. I think this is called like, I think they call it a peanut style or something. This is made by Orchids of Hawaii, which is one, which is a, a brand that I like. I have other ones that are Orchids of Hawaii. This is a vintage tiki mug, so it's from, from the heyday of tiki time period. That's what I like. And I like how this one looks. That's why I got it. And it was a good price. It's hard to find ones. This, now it's even harder to find ones that are affordable for someone <laughs> like me. Yeah, so these are all the same. They're all like this, I believe. Yeah, so I, I won't bother opening the rest right now. Let's move on to the next package. That was cool. Okay, so we got an envelope for our next package. I think maybe this installment I'll do the just the rest of what I have left, my pile. And then we'll have to wait for more mail videos.
Rip them. Dusty. Oh. This one's Ottawa related. Oh, cool. This is a, a restaurant uh, that used to be on Carling Avenue. Yeah, you can see there. This is a restaurant called The Greenery. And I always liked the architecture of that building. I don't think it's there anymore. Uh, but it, yeah, so The Greenery Restaurant. Uh, this is a matchbook. So just a little nostalgic remembrance of a restaurant that I remember going to with my family when I was a kid. I, I really like nostalgic uh, stuff, so that's that. Uh, it was near the Talisman Hotel, which had, which basically housed some of Ottawa's only tiki history. It had a bar in there called the Beachcomber. And um, yeah, so tiki related. Um, there were a few other tiki related things in Ottawa in the past, but not much of a history there. Sherry's on Spark Street had a Polynesian restaurant on the second level, and there used to be sort of a tiki style place, um, I think, on Carling as well. Anyways, I like tiki stuff, so that's why I'm going on about it. Anyways, uh, here's the next package. It's definitely sealed up good. It's, it's like covered in tape. This is from British Columbia. So ordered on eBay, I guess. I don't know how to get into this one. There's no, no openings. Is this tape or is this cellophane? Wow, man, these people really don't want me to get into this. I think I'm making progress. I don't know. What is this? A book? Oh, I think I know. Uh, I think I know what this is. Tissue paper. It's tissue paper. Yeah. Mystery Comics Digest. 
Boris Karloff. I've always wanted one of these thicker type digest comics because there's so much. It's like having five comic books. But it, it was difficult finding one that wasn't expensive. And I really like these uh, Boris Karloff Tales of Mystery comics. They're pretty fun. Yeah, so that's that. That's pretty fun. That's a nice, nice one. Next. Next one. No. Next one. Next one, we'll do this one. The other ones were regular mail. Again, these are all packages. The, these ones here are all packages that I've received in 2018 or 2019, and I just let them pile up. I sent them to myself. I bought these things online. Um, so none of them have been handled during the COVID outbreak. So it's okay that I'm handling them with my hands, with my bare hands. They're safe. Uh, oh, this is cool. This, uh, this is the Houdini Museum in Niagara Falls. Another, another brochure. That's awesome. I remember walking past that as a kid and being sort of freaked out by it because they had a, like a floating Houdini head in the front that would call people in and do a little speech and it was like a holographic head and it always fascinated me it was sort of spooky and I always kind of feared going in and always kind of wanted to go in and I never did my my parents never went in there I never went in there and then it burnt down or something and uh, it no longer exists there so I have this memory to remind me uh, a new brochure I can look through. That's awesome. If you've ever been to Niagara Falls and uh, you were there during the Houdini days, maybe you can tell me in the comments what that was like. Because I never, I never got to go in there. And if you remember the floating head <laughs> that used to be like a carnival barker getting people into the museum let me know if you remember that so what's this one oh I already opened this one apparently I don't remember doing that oh awesome There's some note with it well this is Thank you for your order. Enjoy the Ontario Place memories. Exactly. That's why I bought this. I, I bought just to treat myself. They weren't very expensive. So it's fun to kind of go through them with you guys. and Hopefully you'll enjoy some of this. And maybe it'll remind you of things. That What attractions and stuff did you go see when you were a kid? Did you get to go do that? Or were there other fun stuff? that you remember from your childhood or toys that you liked because that's the kind of stuff I enjoy hearing about did I just wreck that? I just cut into the uh, not too much though no that's not bad I'm wrecking my stuff so Ontario Place is, it was a, an amusement park on the lakefront in Toronto and uh, I've been there many, I had been there many times with my folks and for a concert once in, in the 90s uh, I saw The Cure there in concert with some of my friends. Oh and this has a map of the park, that's pretty neat.
bumper bolts and stuff like that. Yeah, that was a fun place to go. Apparently they're kind of trying to rejuvenate the area. It won't be exact it won't be the same as it was, but I like some of their plans for it that I've seen for the Ontario Place property. Um, it still has this in Toronto they have a Cinesphere where where they still show movies. You can see it on the map here. Right there. And the geodesic dome that I was talking about in a recent video. Uh, I was talking about the geodesic dome in Montreal. Well, they have one in Toronto as well. And I've seen movies in there, and I I, uh, I remember this place well. They also had a place called Future Pod there, where they'd show all kinds of scientific innovations and things. Right. And the first time I ever played Ram Rampage, the video game, was right outside of Future Pod in Ontario Place. Just a random fact there. I'm sure you all wanted to know. All right. Oh. Oh, wow. There's a lot left here. Maybe it'll be more than just one video. Okay, let's open this one. This won't be the last video because there's quite a lot more packages. Maybe I'll start opening more tomorrow. Save it. I can't do it. Oh, I think I know what this is just from the sound of it. I think I ordered a puzzle. like a scrap paper with a with a library date due we used it as look at all this this is they used it as a, what do you call that protective uh, stuff all right here's the puzzle i bought <laughs> for myself i can do that while i'm stuck inside with uh this COVID uh, disease going on outside. That'll keep me busy while I'm avoiding the public in isolation. It's a neat puzzle. How many pieces? 64. So it's not, not too simple. Well, it is kind of, but yeah, so that's a neat one they're in an arcade. I was just talking about an arcade. 64 chunky pieces. <clears throat> Alright, so I think that's going to be it for this particular video. I'm going to have uh, maybe one more video to go, maybe two, depending on how many more packages I have. So that was fun. Hopefully you, you enjoyed it. If not, you can certainly tell me why in the, in the comments. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, maybe you have. And hit the like button if you enjoyed at least some of this video. And uh, thanks for watching everybody. Bye for now.